Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rianne, and I'm here with the groom for our midweek movie with the groom. And I finally got him to watch Battle Royale, which has taken me literally forever. Yeah, yeah, it has. But I'm glad we did it. All right, Battle Royale was released in 2000 in Japan, but didn't make its uh, mass release in the United States until 2001. It's a sci-fi thriller based on a novel by Kashun Takami. Don't judge me if I get these names <laughs> wrong. Um, it was written and directed by Kinji Fukasawu, or Fukasaku, who was actually 70 years old at the time of this uh, movie, at the time of him making this movie, and they say it was like his uh, swan song. He put everything he had into this movie. So, Battle Royale is about 42... Uh, ninth grade students that get chosen they say at random because pretty much there's a trend going through uh, Japan that just the kids aren't listening they're kind of rebelling they all as a group decided not to show up to school left a message on the blackboard they're attacking teachers so to kind of put out a warning to other students, other children, that this won't be accepted anymore. They take the entire class, put them on a abandoned island, and uh, tell them you have to kill each other. There's a bunch of stipulations like the no-go zones, which you die if you're there. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has to do it, or you'll die. If you tamper with the device that they put around your neck, you're gonna die. And these rules are very strictly enforced. They have four times a day where they'll do an update with the names of the students that are deceased. It, it's really an interesting concept. They're all given bags with different weapons. <laughs> some which we wouldn't really no. consider a weapon, like a pot lid or um, some, the fan. a fan. Yeah. Some of them were not weapons. So the story pretty much... The meat of it is all the kids trying to figure out what they're going to do because obviously none of them want to die. Most of them don't want to kill each other. Some of them really want to kill each other. <laughs> Some but of them are crazy. It's, it's very intense. And as this is a spoiler-free review, kind of let it go there. And if, you know, if, if there isn't one winner at the end of three days, everybody Every, dies. Yeah, everyone's dead. We kill everybody. Yeah. Which was um, awesome. Uh, likes and dislikes. First like of this, as it pertains to the non the non spoiler, the video they play in the classroom. Oh, the video is incredible. With the teacher is hilarious. I laughed at this movie a lot, which is my demented sense of humor. I love the pure violence of this. Mm -hmm. The pure violence of it. You can tell this is not an American made movie. It is just right from the get go. Yeah, no pure, holes barred at all. No like no. No punches pulled. No, nothing like that. It's like, nope, we're just going to shove this right in your face right at the beginning. And I loved it. I wish I would have watched this before Hunger Games. Because I probably would have hated Hunger Games as much as you do. I really hope because that. Of this, because of this movie. Because now I know it can be done better. Remember when yeah. I said, I wish they did Hung Hunger Games more vi violent? They did. I wish Hunger just Games had a Japan. better storyline. I wish I Battle mean. Royale had more money. That's what I yeah. wish. Um, so what did you like about it? I liked that they were all supposed to be ninth grade students, which you figure they're kind of all around the age of 14. And I usually don't like child actors at all. I feel like they just don't do a great job. They The, the acting was incredible. They acted exactly how a 14-year-old would act in this situation where they're like, oh, I wanted to help you because I thought you were really cute, but I didn't say anything until now, which is just like a terrible... It teaches kids to that's, that's be adorable. That's how kids think, though. And you'll survive. And they don't grasp, like, the finality of their actions, and some of them, you know, go after each other and then, like, lose their minds afterwards because mm -hmm. they're like, I can't believe I did that, and... I thought, you know, every actor in this was amazing. There were a bunch of actors that I recognized from other movies like Kill Bill and uh, Death Note, which mm -hmm. is, is awesome to see. I loved it. And they, they did really pick a great cast. The location was really pretty. What are your dislikes? You're distracted by the tiny cat. Um, for me, the, the dislikes, other than like the, I know this wasn't a high budget film, so some of the, some of the stuff was kind of, you can blare on the obvious. 
Um, I hate a lot of stuff I predicted. A lot of stuff I saw, I saw coming. But I don't know if that's because I saw the hun the Hunger Games, which stole a lot from this, like a whole lot. Most, like, like like the entire wow. concept of the movie like perhaps. wow that not not just like one of their movies a bunch of their movies oh, with yeah. the, the dynamic with the teacher mm -hmm. so and anyway i i saw some of that coming so i mean i guess that would be kind of a dislike but the other thing is man do these people eat a lot of bullets it is unrealistic <laughs> as shit how many people like it's like hilarious at times how many times they eat a bunch of bullets and get back up or, like, one shot and they're d just dead, and then one person takes, like, 12 shots and they're still, like, popping up, like, and it's bah. like, what are you? You That's not how that works. But, I don't know, maybe it is. I've never been shot that many times at once. Yeah, it hurts. While trying to fight for my life um, from other ninth graders. Yeah, adrenaline can only do so much. Yeah. So, what did you dislike about the movie? Um, I, like, I love this movie. I guess my only like major dislike would be that there's a lot of flashbacks that I was just like, Ugh, mm. like enough. I, I it's fine. Mm. I understand. We don't need to see it again. And like, sometimes I like, I already felt when the movie started out, I favored him more of how the teacher was feeling. Like F these kids, like the, teacher was awesome. the, the one kid like <laughs> slashes the teacher in the leg. Like that was he the had most it, random kind thing of, like, ever. But it wasn't on purpose. It was weird. It was on weird. purpose. This is the way he... The way he that whole... He slashed him like he was in jail. Yeah. So I can completely understand why the teacher would go after him. Because, like, you hit me, I hit you back kind of thing. Which mm. really isn't that great of logic. But, like... And then I would sympathize with, you know, our, our main characters that at the end are kind of left to survive and fight it out. But, like... I understand you had a rough life, kid, but you don't need to see the same exact scene over and over again. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. Oh, like, yeah. That one thing. That, that one scene. And then scene. they didn't explain, like, one weird thing about it, like, w why a certain person's pants were down in the flashback, which is weird, which is very weird. Uh, there's a reason. I know there's a reason, <laughs> but they never actually addressed the reason. <laughs> there could be a reason. Anyways, awkward. Yeah. Um, How would you rate the movie? Oh, man. I would... I did enjoy this. Enjoyed this movie. I know they were bound by the... Uh, they were bound by the 2000 techno technology. You can see some of the early CGI was kind of shitty. Um, but they... Uh, there's a great use of practical effects in oh, this, though. Practical effects are bomb in this movie. Um, They're really good. It's just... it's it's. I know it's bound by its time and it's, and it's money. So I, I would give it a 4 out of 5. I wish somebody in Japan with a ton of money and the same vision as Kenji Fuka, Fukasaku, somebody with the same vision <laughs> I still as don't know him. If we're saying that right? Yeah, it's Kenji Fukasaku. Okay, that's what I'm. Pr I'm going with that. Um, I somebody with the same vision as him, but with a ton of money, and now like the technology today. I hope. I wish they would reboot this. Just don't change anything about it. Just redo the movie with today's technology and the same viciousness that he had. I would love it. But yeah, I would definitely give it, I would give it four out of fives. I would recommend this to anybody who hasn't seen it, especially people who have seen the Hunger Games. They, this is how you do it right. Yeah. I would rate this movie a five out of five. I absolutely <laughs> love this movie. I love this movie I give it six. so much. If I could give it a six out of five, <laughs> I would. The you know original story like a lot of people are really squeamish when it comes to like child death in a movie and legit <laughs> this is no, all the movie is <laughs> and not that i'm like this makes me sound weird but it's such a taboo thing and i like when things go to that you know over the line kind mm -hmm. of go to the dark yeah. place the story's great Comes i really need to read place. the book um <clears throat> it's yeah. incredible. The acting is incredible. The effects, very good, other than the kind of poo CGI. Yeah. But again, it was the time. It was, it's, yeah, it you was know, 2000. It's totally understandable. I remember seeing this movie, like, as soon as I could get my hands on it. Oh, yeah, and you were and you were in love with the one character that was like a K-pop star. Yes, he's hot. <laughs> um, he's like the big baddie in this movie. 
Oh, they're all, like, real pretty, though. Yeah. But anyways, that's awkward. I was a lot younger when I saw this movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you can find this on uh, almost every streaming almost every streaming source. Uh, Google Play, Prime, Netflix. It says it's on, on Netflix, but I think it's, like, one of the rotating in and out. Yeah, it'll be there one month and then disappear um, again. It's uh, vo- Voodoo, everything like that. You can also get it on physical physical copy, DVD. I don't know if it's on Blu-ray. I found some things that said it's, it's, it is, and one thing that says it isn't. But really funny thing is, this was actually re- released in the U.S. on July 8th, 2011. And today's the 4th of July. So we unknowingly reviewed it on... Almost its anniversary, which also explains the red, white, and blue ensemble I'm 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 wearing. Mm-hmm. But speaking of which, if you want to follow us on various social medias, not in real life because that's creepy. Where can you Where can they find you? You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. You can find me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray, or you can find me on Twitch. Which is www.twitch.tv slash repeat reanimator, or just search for repeat reanimator on Twitch. Find me, I'm hilarious. Some of my friends are morons, so we can all laugh at them together. Follow me, like, subscribe. I'm trying to get Twitch affiliate, I'm trying to get paid. So, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do. I'd love to have you. Please like the video if you like the video, or you could like the video if you don't like the video. Uh, Leave a comment with your thoughts. Have you seen this movie? I really hope you have. Let me know what your thoughts were. If you haven't seen the movie, please check it out. It's amazing. It's so good. I'm so sad I took this long to watch this movie. Yeah, pathetic. We randomly found it on Prime today, too. So So lucky. uh, Hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. Mm -hmm. And I think that about wraps it up. Please check the movie out. It's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.